हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल पार्थ दोषी लर्निंग बाय डूइंग सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इन यू आई पाथ दैट इज रिलेटेड टू द इनवोक मेथड एक्टिविटी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म सम ऑफ द कॉमन डायरेक्टरी ऑपरेशन दैट मीन्स ऑपरेशन दैट वी परफॉर्म ऑन अ फोल्डर यूजिंग द इनवोक मेथड एक्टिविटी सो द नेम स्पेस ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर directory is system dot io dot directory which is a namespace that we are going to use in the invoke method activity and perform the various operations so first let me show you the methods that we have so if you see here it is system dot io right in that we are going to use the directory class and as you can see over here there are directory dot enumerate files and multiple functions so we are going to see some of the common functions within this okay so let me open my ui path code and we'll just try to perform some of the operations and what i'm going to do is so if you see here we have two folders folder 1 and 2 so we are going to perform operations on this particular directories now the first operation that we are going to perform is going to be a move so many times while moving one folder to another folder we might have to use the for each loop or we use directory dot get files or something like that but here in this case within just one activity we can perform the complete operation so if you see i have dragged invoke method here in the target type you have to select system dot io dot directory that you can get from here system dot io dot directory if you see over here it is here and within that we have a method called move now within move we have to pass two parameters one is going to be source and the other is going to be the destination so let me put it back to string destination now here there is one constraint or you can say limitation that when you are moving the folder to the destination folder it should not already exist over there because it cannot overwrite so that you need to take care of now what i'm going to do is if you see folder 1 in testing we have one document as well so there are sub folders or there can be files let me create one new folder as well over here okay so i'm going to move this testing folder from folder 1 to folder 2 so let me just open it over here and i'm going to make it testing so this is my source path that i have given and here is the destination i'm going to move it to demo 12 this is my destination folder name that i want to give in invoke method just ignore this we'll see that later now this particular method requires two arguments if you see directory dot move the first is the source and the second is the destination so similarly i have passed over here source and destination now the name can be different the source and the destination you need not worry about that and just click on save and i'm going to execute it so the execution is completed and now if you see the testing is moved from here over here into a demo 12 folder along with the sub directories and files so you see this is the simplest method that we have used here and we were easily able to you know get the move the folders from one folder to another we did not use for each or anything as such just one simple activity so this is when you know the coding knowledge helps as a rpa developer so that is what you should keep in mind and i would suggest you to learn c sharp and vb dot net now the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to let's create a directory okay create directory so i'm going to the one that i deleted i am just going to create again now if you see in create directory it gives me an error why because i have passed two parameters over here which are not required so i'm going to delete the destination and keep the source so as soon as i do that you see the error is gone and now again the directory should not exist and if you see 
now the execution is completed and in folder one the testing folder is created so this is how see we are simply using just the namespace and we are using the method name right and now let's see if directory dot exist let's see this particular method and i think the output is always a boolean so now we are also going to see if it is it is existing then how we can get the output as well so i'm going to okay right and the output that i'm going to have is let me use same exist and this should be a boolean since it returns a boolean value right and i'm going to pass that over here exist and the source file source path which we have already given and let me use a message box and i'm going to print exist okay so we know the file is existing so i'm going to just run the file now if you see the file is existing and the output is true so this you can use for you know later processing whatever you want to do let me delete this and now let me execute so now we should be getting false you see we have till now we used move we used create directory we use exist now get creation time so i'm going to change the now let's go to get creation time right now the output here is going to be in the date time format right so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to give get creation time right and now we will have errors yes so here i'm going to use let me create one variable right and we are going to name it as creation time okay and that we are going to pass over here creation time so this is going to be my output and in the collection i am going to have my source folder right now why is this error okay we need one i think out argument over here which is going to be of type date time and which is going to be stored in the creation time okay we still have an error let's see why it is okay get creation time is the spelling right okay so the input should be one over here which is my in cannot convert string to date okay so the mistake that i made is i haven't changed over here and the result is going to be creation time and this parameter i'm going to remove from over here so now if you see there is no error and creation time so the error basically was we had passed it as a parameter right which we should not because it takes only one parameter and the type of the output is going to be in date time so we have to you know use get creation time and let me run this i think we did not change the folder name so it might give us an error no okay yes i think this is wrong uh, let me check over here testing does not exist testing one does it exist yes it does let me save and let me execute and now let's see what is the output that we get so if you see over here testing one 10 march 2021 20, and the timing is this is the one that i had modified but it was created on 
ट्वेंटी थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी फाइव सेकेंड्स राइट ओके लेट्स क्रिएट वन फोल्डर राइट नाउ फाइनल ओके सो द टाइम इज ट्वेंटी वन इलेवन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू पास द सेम ओवर इ final right and here we have the source okay save and let's run the file Twenty one, eleven, twenty eight seconds. So we also get the time when it was created. So let's suppose you are creating a folder and you want to save the created date or created time of that particular folder in an Excel file or into a database. You can do it in this particular manner. Now we also have, I think, some set creation time, right? So let's do that. In this, we don't need the output, right? what we need is we need the path and the creation time right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the collection i'm going to add a in argument that is going to be type date time and it is going to be creation time we are going to remove the output here i have to change it to set creation time and here creation time we will use date time dot now now if you see the creation time right now is 21 11 and i am going to change it to whatever it is right now i think that it will be 21 13 okay and let us go over here and if i refresh this okay for some reason it has not set folder one final set creation time it was an in argument let me just go back refresh okay it should have set the creation time let's see what is the mistake that we did set creation time string path so it is going to be source and the creation time let me remove this okay let's try it Uh mm huh. -hmm. It is getting executed properly, but for some reasons, okay. It is setting the creation time, and here it is the modified one. Okay, so now we are going to again do the get creation time, right? We are going to remove that particular argument from there, and I'm going to pass the creation time over here. right that was the modified one we'll also see that as well and if i now use a message box and print the creation time let me remove this so now we should get i think 2115 or something like that 21 14 28 right and let me go to the final properties if you see it is over here 21 14 right so this is how you can get the created time and update the created time one last method that we are going to see is the set last write time right in that also we have to pass the path and the date time so let me use assign and i have already a variable called last right which is date time dot now and here i'm going to set 
last the right time we obviously have an error because we have to pass another in argument which is going to be string and here it is going to be last right and i think we have to remove this output yes and let me delete this so now this particular date modified is going to get changed from 2111 to i suppose 2116 so you see this date modified got updated so this is how with one single activity you see we were able to do this many multiple directory functions or you can say uh, you can say the updation deletion and the creation we were able to do just using one single activity that is invoke method that is why again i am repeating that because of this the coding knowledge is asked in most of the interviews and it is required i hope you learned something interesting and very useful in this particular video if you learned something useful and interesting please do share the video and like and also do share your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated thank you keep learning keep sharing